Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to be covering the different building blocks within Tableau. I've created this diagram to show you how each of the building blocks interconnect and we'll be going through each one step by step. So let's start with this blue uh, block over here, which is the workbook. Workbook is essentially a project file for a Tableau um, dashboard. Now, it can be a bit confusing because technically you can create multiple dashboards within a workbook, as I've in actually shown here. We've got two dashboards in this example and one story. So the correct way to talk about Tableau, the language you should be using is as a, as a Tableau developer or a business analyst, you actually create a Tableau workbook. Another way you could phrase it is I create a workbook project or a Tableau project and the container of everything you do is the workbook. So that's the highest level. The lowest level is what we call a sheet or what Tableau calls a sheet. So I'm going to jump into Tableau now and actually go ahead and show you how this all works. So I'm just going to connect to the Superstore data set. And as you can see in the interface, immediately I've got sheet one open here and I've got that, I've got the interface in front of me. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on the interface within Tableau. That's can cover that. You'll, you'll be able to learn that in other videos, but I do want to show you um, how we go ahead and end up populating a sheet. So I have sheet one over here and I'm actually going to leave it as sheet one for a second. And what I've done is I've dragged, I've dragged over the sum of sales. I'm just going to go ahead and format this and it's turn it into a currency. And that's basically the total sales we have um, for all time. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's do that. Uh, leave it as, as that. I'm then going to go ahead um, and look here. So if I hover over here, I actually see the building blocks I referred to earlier. I call them sheets. Uh, they're actually called worksheets, but sheets for short. I'm going to go ahead and create another sheet. Okay. And actually, let's rename this just to make it a bit clearer. This is sales. And over here, I'm going to drag, um, let's see, to put discount, sum of disc, well, actually, sum of quantity to be a bit better. Okay, so this is quantity. Okay, so now I've got two sheets that I've created. So sheet uh, worksheets are the lowest level. I can even go ahead and do something like this where, um, let me give you an example. Uh, let's call this product type furniture. Okay. Text. I'm going to hide the the title and we're just going to drag this. So I've actually created a sheet here, which is literally just a piece of text. Okay. And I did that just to indicate to you that a sheet is basically, like I said, it's the lowest level and it can be literally anything. It could be a single number, single calculation, a piece of text. I could even give an example where I do something like this. I don't know why that's failing. Um, let's just do a number, but I can change it to, for example, shape. Let's turn off labels. You know, and I can do something like that where I just want a star. 
to make it really big. Okay, so I think you're getting the point that we can create a sheet which is basically anything we want um, as a, you know, uh, that we would want to show in our dashboard. So in a typical workbook, you're going to have many, many sheets. Um, I've seen cases of workbooks with over 100 sheets, you know, quite easily when you're building a very complex dashboard. Um, another cool little tip, you can color code. Uh, it just helps kind of separate things. Okay, so that's sheets. And what about workbooks, right? So we said this is a workbook. So up here, you can see by default, we got book one. If I go ahead and save as, right, I can see here we're saving as a Tableau workbook. So like I mentioned, this is essentially like a project file, right? So um, I can go ahead and save this as a workbook file. Now, if I click on the type, there's actually two types. There's a Tableau workbook and then there's a package workbook. What's the difference between these two? Well, a workbook, well, let me explain what a package workbook is because that will help explain what a, a standard workbook is. A package workbook is gonna be the basically the, the workbook Plus, it's going to include within the workbook file the data that I've extracted to build the dashboard. So in this case, I haven't actually plugged in to um, a specific table in a database, for example. But if I had and I extracted that data, I could save the workbook as a package workbook, as in it's the workbook plus the data that comes along with uh, you know, that has been extracted. If I save the workbook as a standard workbook, then the next time that workbook is opened, I'm going to have to reconnect to the data and get to get access to it. And if I'm, for example, sharing a workbook with a fellow analyst, um, I might want to save them time and not let them have to go through the entire process. Then I would save it as a package workbook. Another way, I, another reason I would use a package workbook is they just say, I'm working on the dashboard uh, on the I'm working in the workbook and I have access to the underlying data, but I want to share it with someone who doesn't have access, then I'm going to need to extract it and save it as a package workbook so that they can actually work on that uh, work inside that workbook on the data without having you know to reconnect to the data set the, the data source to extract that data. So I hope that I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions on that, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to expand. So now we've actually saved this as a workbook. So that kind of covers the blue piece, right, as a project file. And we've got a few sheets, but we don't yet have dashboards and stories. So let's go ahead and create those. So all I need to do is click on this little icon for a dashboard. And notice that in the dashboard, the UI looks different. I have a list of my sheets and I have different objects at the bottom and I can start essentially um, building my dashboard. Now, a dashboard is just really a fancy way of saying a collection of sheets. And I can basically use these different objects to customize my dashboard. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm just gonna drag the vertical container and that's gonna allow me to basically place things from top down, you know, uh, vertically. So let's just start with some text. Um, dashboard number one, sales and quantity. Okay, let's make this bold. Centralize it, and there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my first sheet into the dashboard. Okay, it turns on my labels. I'm just gonna, let's edit this. Let's say, total sales, right? And then um, let's go ahead and drag quantity underneath. This is obviously not a very 
um, pleasing looking dashboard, but that's not the point of the video. Total quantity. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So that's bit width and can just align this to the left and align this to the left. And there we go. Great. It's looking good. Um, yeah. And then, um, so that's basically dashboard number one. Okay. Let's color code this red. Let's go ahead and create a new dashboard. We do the same thing just to make it easy. This is going to be furniture dashboard. Okay. And now basically I want you to notice something interesting. We've got these little blue ticks that indicates that the sheets are inside the dashboard. So I can't put the same sheet more than once in dashboard. I'd have to clone the sheet. Um, but I can basically place the same sheet into two separate dashboards, like I've done here. And we're just gonna put our star and our text over here, just cause we can. Let's fit this entire view. <coughs> And that's basically it. I'm not going to spend more time on the design just to give you an idea. So quick summary at this point, we've got our workbook, right? Workbook versus sheet versus dashboard. That's the name of the file. Inside that, we've got four separate sheets. And at the moment, we've got two dashboards. Let's put this uh, here. Why not? Okay. Go ahead and save, always save so you don't lose anything. And now lastly, what I want to do is create a story. So going back to this, we've got our workbook, we've got two dashboards, we've got our sheets. Um, everything is contained within the workbook. So I could, you know, share that file and someone could open and see exactly this. And lastly, we have a story. So what are stories? Story is basically a type of dashboard. Um, but you'll see in a second, if I go ahead and create a new story, it's got a different layout. It's got almost like a Photoshop, sorry, uh, um, not Photoshop. Uh, I forget the name, but it's basically got a presentation um, type view where I can add a sheet and then I can create a new story point. So. I can basically create like a sequence, you know, slide number one, for example, this is sales. And then over here, this is slide number two, which would be quantity. And I can basically create um, a story and that's why it's called a story. So this would be, you know, we edit the, the name of the story, sales versus quantity, you know, 2024 as an example. So if I'm doing a presentation uh, and I, uh, I can basically use the story as a way to do that. So um, it's, it's kind of limited in terms, it's less, you have less options than, uh, you know, a regular dashboard. Um, I haven't actually worked with stories for a very long time. You can do these like hover, hover texts, I believe. So is an example about other text box sales were without this here. And then I can base so I can create these. There are some editable options here. Um, you know, I can change the shading, you know, do stuff like this. Uh, she doesn't look so good. 
and you know and i can place this wherever i want and that becomes part of it so that's kind of cool um thought there were ways to do arrows okay maybe they changed that no oh, there is arrows um anyway so that's basically it um yeah, I can also put dashboards within stories. So notice in the in the left hand side, yeah, I have my sheets, but I also have my dashboards. Um, the reason I might want to do that is because a sheet is typically, you know, I could add, for example, um, filters. So, you know, let's put, for example, a filter here, show filter. So I can add filters. Uh, obviously, if I had my dashboard, sales versus quantity dashboard, then it, you know I would get all the functionality here that I would in my dashboard if I added different um, filtering options. Right. So okay, this is dashboard two. So that's. Uh, So let's just drink dashboard one. So whatever basically I have in my dashboard, I would have in my story, including any filters, parameters, action filters, whatever I had. So anyway, um, just to quick summarize, main building blocks within Tableau, we've got our workbook and that's our project file. Then we would build our sheets to cover all the different, you know, visualizations essentially that we want to display in our single or multi dashboard. Um, so the idea is that I would create my workbook, create my sheets, build, they just say two dashboards, and then I would publish that workbook to Tableau Online or Tableau Server. And then I would have access to those two dashboards within that workbook on the server, uh, or rather on the cloud when I would access it. So they all kind of interconnect and I have full flexibility over how I wanted to do it. I could technically create a workbook with 10 different dashboards, 200, 300 different sheets and publish that all as one uh, workbook onto the server. And then, you know, users could go in and use it that way. Obviously, you would have to be more strategic and, and think about how you want to display everything out. And, you know, putting too much into a single workbook is probably not optimal. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.